Good, good afternoon, everybody. As we all was awaiting a 10 o'clock meeting this morning in Chico, it did start at 10 o'clock, but until this moment, only one thing, well, two things come out of that meeting. First one is, after the appeal court dismissed the PNC case, or throw it out, Clarence Singh would have issued a letter to Lowen Field instructing him to produce a report based on the recount figure and deliver it to GCOM 10 o'clock this morning. As the meeting started this morning at 10 o'clock, Lowen Field was in attendance or he was at the meeting but he did not produce no report. Now, if we could go as far back before the case was filed in the High Court, as to when Alexander and Corbin and them walk out of GCOM, along with Lowenfield, walk out of the GCOM meeting, they was claiming the reason why they walk out is because every time a court case filed, Clarison would have waited the outcome of the court proceedings before she continue so they walk out since then though if it had a deadline as to produce a report that was the last day she gave to him to produce a report and if he did not produce a report or an accurate report on what she requested she would have find somebody else to do it on that day Louis Phil did not produce any report now, she said she would have found somebody else if he didn't produce any. Now, she's still using Lowenfield today again. She still had issued a letter to Lowenfield. Although he did not produce a report. Whether the matter was going to court or not, that wasn't the issue. The issue was Lowenfield supposed to produce a report on that day when they were out of Jico. Right? He was supposed to produce a report whether a court case file or not he didn't produce any he take the PNC side and he walk out along with the three PNC commissioners and now you can hear Clara Singh issuing Lowenfield a, a letter again to produce a report again now this, this ain't going nowhere this ain't making any sense now Lowenfield is supposed to produce a report if she didn't want to use it today is a different story right then if she didn't want to use it then she had to issue him a letter again like she did to produce the next one for today but then he had to produce one then he did not produce any and she clearly stated that if he didn't produce any she would have find somebody else to do it now he didn't produce none and she still ain't finding nobody else to do it this thing he ain't making no sense this is one of the things that come out of GCOM today that Lowenfield did not produce a report again. The next thing that come out of GCOM today is that the PNC commissioners make a suggestion to Clara Singh asking her to wait and or to try and get the two leaders of the two parties to speak before she can come to a decision she contacted them and they agreed to speak there's Barry Jack Deal, leader of the PPP and David Granger leader of the PNC they agreed to speak now what will come out of the speech I don't know right but I don't think Jack Deal would accept a decision as not to use the figures come out of the recon. I don't think Jack D is going to go along the way. What I think Granger would basically be asking Jack D to do is inclusive governance. But I think Jack D will stand his ground and say what he was saying before. This election have to finish before any negotiation about inclusive governance or shared governance can happen 
so I think Jack David would grow the same motivation right so let me wait and see what will come out of the meeting with the two of them now every time there is a meeting in GCOM you have PNC supporters outside saying the same thing over and over this is what they are saying valid votes only 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 ah little valid vote call valid vote call like we didn't know valid votes supposed to come the high court appeal court and the ccj already ruled what valid vote is or what is the valid vote is the vote that was tabulated and the at the end of the recount only that vote or those votes are valid there is no other valid votes right only the tabulation figures out of the recount they, that is the only valid votes have PNC supporters we know only valid vote must come and this is why Tara Singh tell Lowenfield to produce his report based on the figures coming out of the recount the tabulated figures because that is the only valid votes good so this is what went on in GCO before the three government commissioners walk out. Uh, basically what has happened, um, Commissioner Corbyn made a proposition that in the circumstance of us not accepting the recount as the basis for results, that it will be useful for the two leaders to speak on the way forward since that was the agenda item that was placed before us. And the chairman acceded to that request and has since spoken to both Mr. Jaglio and Mr. Granger. And we have been asked to stay our hand until 2 o'clock, after the two of them would have had some conversation. And did both of them, and, and speaking to her, did she say whether or not they agreed? They agreed to speak. They agreed to speak. They agreed to speak. The details, we cannot see. But they agreed to speak. Okay. And, what and do you envisage can come out of such a discussion, though? What we proposed was that the item, the way forward, be discussed between the two of them, given the fact that we do not think the recount tabulations should or can be used to declare results. That was a unanimous decision by the... No, no, that was not unanimous. That is our disposition in terms of the recount. So you hear it from the government three commissioners. I didn't see the opposition three commissioners as yet. I didn't hear nothing from them as yet. As usual, they will be the last one to come out. And when they come out, Bibi Shirley, what's her name? She's from Butcher Car, say what she got to say, and she gone. She don't want to hear no questions. But Mr. C's Gun Rogers, who we always look forward to for accurate details. So, at the time of this video, the three opposition commissioners did not give no press, no press briefing, sorry. They did not speak to the press. So, I have nothing to say on behalf of them at this moment anyway my prediction is that Granger and Jack Deal will come to some decision and they will agree for a declaration to be made from the recon figures and then they can move forward in dialogues right after the declaration make and if and Alice I think this is when they're gonna start going to the discussion on the way forward 
about shared governance or inclusive governance. This is my prediction. Wait to see what can be the outcome. GCOM meeting is at 2 o'clock again today. Okay, so we are waiting that. So I think we can get a briefing as what happened with Jack D. on Granger before we go into the GCOM meeting. Okay, everybody, stay safe, stay away from Ronald, have a wonderful day. And those of you who did not subscribe to my channel as yet, please subscribe. Please subscribe. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Continue being optimistic, okay? We waiting. <laughs> Something will happen at the end of today. Something will happen at the end of today. Whether it's good, bad, or ugly. But something will happen at the end of today. Okay? We waiting. Again, continue to be optimistic. Keep your finger crossed that this whole election what should I say? Marathon come to an end today. Okay? Have a wonderful day everybody.